I think I'm going under on the stars on the hitter fantasy on prize picks or underdog. But before I get to that, strikeout parlay. Let's get it. Cal Bradish, or is it Bradish? Cal Bradish, his strikeout line is at five and a half. Minus 134 to go over. This is the last five games. The over is hitting at 60%. In his last game, he had 11 Ks. 11 Ks? His strikeout per night in is 11.92. At five and a half, I think we like this over. He averages five innings per outing and his batter facing strikeout percentage is at 32%. He went seven innings in his last outing. Again, strikeouts per nine innings, 11.92. Cal Bradish, I hope I'm saying that right, over five and a half strikeouts. Robert Gasser, his strikeout line is at five and a half. Minus 165 to go over. He had, wait, wait, wait. Minus 165 to go under. Although he had seven Ks in his last outing, he averages 3.2 strikeouts per, per game, per outing rather, 5.2 innings, and his batters face and strikeout percentage is at 14%. And then strikeouts per nine innings is at 5.09. Under five and a half, let's safe here. Robert Gasser under five and a half strikeouts. Yo, Joe Musgrove. His strikeout line is at three and a half, minus 180 to go over. This is the last, <clears throat> last five games hitting at 60%. His strikeout per nine innings is 7.74. He averages five innings per hour and his batter's face and strikeout percentage is at 24%. Um, This is Joe Musgrove. That's low to me. I'm gonna look at his last 10. I thought he had a game. I was looking for this game. I saw that here, it was the last five. It was this against Cincinnati. But again, averaging five innings per hour, his strikeout percentage is at 24%. Do I like Joe Musgrove to go over three and a half strikeouts? Yes, I do. Next is Alec Mars. His strikeout line is at four and a half. At four and a half? Why is the over plus 110? He's been balling, right? Let hold on. Versus Alec Mars. Does the Padres have a lot of? They don't. It doesn't, no one has a ton of history. His strikeouts per night in is at 7.74. Why is the over plus money versus the Padres? This is interesting because the last five games, he's covered just in four straight outings. What's the under? Minus 119? I'm going to try to find that straight up at plus 100. I mean, at plus 110. I see who's doing that. It's obviously Caesars and FanDuel. DraftKings also. That's interesting. I'm definitely playing it. But I wish I could play it at plus 110 instead of putting it on a parlay. <laughs> hey, Fran Bavaldez, we hit his in the last one. I didn't get to make a video yesterday. My, my little one was under the weather. And I had to take care of her. However, I did have a parlay that I smacked. But one leg push. I think Hudson pushed. He got three Ks. So it paid out for less, but it's still smack. Yo, Fran Bavaldez, Fran Bavaldez, his strikeout line is at five and a half. The over is plus 120. This is the last 10 games. It's only hitting at 40%. Do we like the under here? Why is the under favorite? It's going hitting at 60% in the last 10 games, 80% in the last five. His strikeout, his strikeout per nine innings is 7.1. He averages six innings per outing. Do we like him under five and a half strikeouts? Against Oakland, he went crazy. Having eight Ks. And then do they have any history against Framber? A lot of batters do. Not a ton of bats. Nobody would double digit at bats. There's a lot of green over here, but and a couple of high strikeout percentages as well. But I think I'm taking this under. Fran Bavaldez under five and a half strikeouts. But my first, my parlay is going to be my first three. I like Kyle, Robert Gasser, and Joe Musgrove. And then I got Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan definitely going over five, five and a half strikeouts. This is the last 10 games, hitting at 80%, the last five games. His strikeouts per nine innings is 7.17. He averages 6.1 innings per outing, and his batter's face and strikeout percentage is at 26%. I'm taking Joe Ryan to go over five and a half strikeouts. They play against Houston. Does he have, does not Fran, but go the other way. Uh, 
a ton of batters have any history. There's a lot of green here supporting my over for five and a half strikeouts. But obviously, there's no one with double digits at bats. <clears throat> I like this one also. I think I'm going to hit two three men just from these three right here. Cal, Gasser, and Musgrove, Marsh, Frambert, and Joe Ryan. And then look, Bryce Miller under six and a half strikeouts. This is kind of high for him. In the last 10 games, the under is hitting at 60%. Last five games at 80%. <clears throat> they playing against the Angels. Um, no one has a ton of history against him. And his strikeout per nine innings is 8.63. It's at six and a half. And then he averages six innings per outing. He hasn't gone over seven innings. Look, strikeout per batter's face is at 19%. I like the under Bryce Miller, six and a half Ks. Hey, I'm going to go to my, um, I want to go to the hitter fantasy score. And I got a couple of popular batters. Look, Mookie Betts. We're going to do Mookie Betts under. I'm going to look at Mookie Betts under. I'm going to look at Ella De La Cruz. Oh, Jose Ramirez. I want to try to put him on a home run parlay. And um, Shoei Otani. Let's start with Mookie Betts first, though. Where is he? Where did it go? Let's start with Mookie Betts first. I mean, obviously, these are just on, like, FanDuel and Prize Pitch, so the over and under is obviously going to be in parlay format if you're playing five-mans, if you play five-man flats. Hopefully, that's what you can play. I'm in Florida. I can only play four-man powers. Well, that's the best play in Florida, but the under here in the last 10 games is hitting at 80%. Like, why not take the under and ride with the trend and hope Mookie don't go off? But that's the thing, we take the over all the time, taking like, thinking like, oh, these are the best batters, these are the best players, this is still baseball. You hit three out of 10, you're good. Like, so like seven out of the 10 times, can I get you to go under these numbers on these fantasy scores? <laughs> I like Mookie bets under eight, Hitter fantasy score. And then same with Eli De La Cruz. His under is hitting the 70%. He had a little breakout game here. I won't say breakout, but he went over. But as you can see in the last five games, it's hitting at 80%, under seven and a half, Eli De La Cruz. That hitter fantasy is tricky because you kind of like need to know what the formula is and know what you're rooting for or against, I guess. But Jose Ramirez, his over eight and a half has been hit smacking. Look at it. He went multiple games in a row, but then in back-to-back -back games not covering. I just had to show this one here because I do like, I would like his home runs. I want to see, you don't have hit run RBIs combined on here, but he's got a, he's gotten hit in 90% of the last 10 games. You know what I'm saying? I've been hitting on this. I put that on a couple of parlays just to fill out two minutes and three minutes or five minutes here and there. Shoei Otani under eight and a half hit a fantasy score. He had 21 like two games ago. <laughs> but hey, as you can keep riding and playing it, you're going to win more than you lose. But when you lose, it's like, damn, he took off. But again, these are parlays. It's a flat payout. It doesn't really matter when you expect them to do it. This is baseball, you know? I'm taking those three stars to go under. Shoei Otani under, Eli De La Cruz under, and Mookie Betts under their hitter fantasy score. Bang. You already know, brother. Let's get this dough.